from Phoenix Shading, just in time for the holidays, Space Nog. And we're going to shave with it, coming up next. Hi YouTubers and wet shavers everywhere, it's Mark with GeorgeToon.com, I'm back with another video. Thanks so much for stopping by and sharing your time with me. Great to see you again, thanks so much. Hey, if this is your first visit to the channel, welcome. Make yourself at home, check out all the other videos, and also, please consider subscribing. I welcome your company and your comments. Well, just in time for the holidays, Phoenix Shaving has released a great shave soap, great scent. It's called Space Nog. Boy, this is absolutely terrific. Um, got the holographic label on mine, so that's why you see a little bit of a rainbow effect there. But it is an absolutely beautiful scent. Oh, yeah, that just, it's very Christmassy, very much in, in keeping with the holiday season. But it's also something you can use year round. Now, get a load of the scent profile. Here it is right here. I'm really going to be interested to see how this lathers up. As you can see, it's a little bit of a darker shave soap uh, than I've used from Phoenix Shaving. Uh, so it's going to be really interesting to see how that lathers up. Uh, the scent profile contains, among other things, brown sugar, nutmeg, vanilla, light cinnamon, West Indian Bay spiced rum. It's kind of a traditional eggnog with a splash of Atomic Age Bay Rum. Uh, that's how Douglas Smythe uh, describes this on the product page. And you know Atomic Age Bay Rum. I've used that before. Uh, and boy, I love this. So Space Dog has a little bit of this in it. And uh, it is an absolutely beautiful scent. And as I say, perfect for the holidays, but it's something, because of that Atomic Age Bay Rum in there, it's something that you'll want to use year-round. At least I know I'm going to use it year-round. And we're going to have a shave with it. So we're going to use the Atomic Age. No, the Atomic Age. We're going to use <laughs> Space Nog uh, with that splash of Atomic Age Bay Rum in it. Yeah, I'm excited to use it. I'm kind of getting my wires crossed. But again, when I, when, I, when I sample that, I can get that Atomic Age Bay Rum there along with the nutmeg, the vanilla, the brown sugar. It's, it's terrific. It really is. Uh, we are going to kick it off with the Cube 2.0. This is mentholated, so I'm going to get a little bit of a menthol kick there. Looking forward to that. I'm going to use my um, my Phoenix Shaving uh, Ascension Razor, the Copper Ascension Razor. Really looking forward to using this. Uh, of course, because it's copper, I can heat this up. It'll retain the heat and really add to a warm, warm shave. The razor blade I'm going to be using is something new that I got from viewer Chuck Summer. I've used it before, and I'm going to use it again for this shave. Uh, Loy Titanium Razor Blades. Boy, these are these were really, really surprisingly good. I like these a lot, and they're like less than $10 for 100 of them. So we're going to go ahead and use this. We're going to finish it off, obviously with the, the Phoenix Shaving uh, Allen Block and the No Slip Grip and the Dry Dock System. And of course, I made sure to buy the bundle so I have the Space Nog After Shave and Cologne, as well as the uh, After Shave uh, Star Jelly in the Space Nog. Again, love the scent, love the fact that it's got that, uh, that uh, Atomic Age Bay Rum uh, splash in there really livens it up. It's something that because of that uh, you can use it year-round. I know, I, again, I know I will. I'm also going to be using my Atomic Rocket shaving brush. Yeah, Space Nog, Atomic Rocket, got a little touch of red in there, very Christmassy, very seasonal, as well as the uh, the Ascension, uh, the Copper Ascension uh, razor. Very Christmas-like color scheme there. It's all a little bit of a little bit of uh, Christmassy colors to kind of liven up the shape. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take some hot water here, and I'm going to put some hot water on top of this puck and kind of let that set up a little bit here. And while that's setting up, I'm going to load the razor blade, and I'm also going to uh, do my pre-shave. And then by then, this should be uh, 
Uh, we should be all set here. Uh, oh yeah, man, that's good and hot. Wow. Man, is that hot. Oh, that's hot. That's hot. Okay, so a little bit of hot water there. Okay, you can see that on top of the puck. Right there. Okay, right there. We're going to set that down very carefully. And I'm also going to be using my uh, Phoenix Shaving Brush Scuttle. I'm going to put a little bit of hot water in here. All right. Okay, so I've got some hot water in there. Let's uh, just go to the warm side here and we'll, we'll fill that sink up and we'll put my brush in there like that. Let that soak a little bit. All righty. So you know what? Let's wet the face. Let's get to the shade. We'll load the blade. We'll get going. Okay, so let's wet the face. Let's get to the shade. Okay, I'm going to use this uh, Cube 2.0 here. All righty. Got about a day's worth of uh, beard growth here. All righty, let's rinse. Okay, I'm gonna put a little more. Gonna put a little more on here. Okay. All righty. Now, you know what, let's just go right ahead and let's, let's build that ladder and then we'll load the razor blade. Okay, there we go. I'm just going to put that like that. I'm going to wring out my brush. All right. There we are. Boy, I love the way CK6 loads on the brush. Very easily, very completely. You don't need a lot to get a good lather. Now, I tend to overdo it a little bit because I'm on camera, so... Right now, that should be enough. I like to give it a few extra swirls. The slather is nice and warm from the hot water that's been on the puck. Oh, yeah, that's terrific. And you can see there is a little bit of a tinge to it. It's not completely white. Going to need a little bit more water because CK6 likes water. But, boy, that is a wonderful, wonderful scent. I'm definitely getting the, the vanilla and the bay. The Bay Rum, oh man, that is, that's marvelous, that really is. This, I, again, this is something I'm going to use year-round. I love this scent. And a, a CK6, look at that. Look at, oh my goodness. Look how easily and quickly that lathers. I mean, it is worth the price of admission. It really is. Wow. Okay, huh? Boom! Lather! Wow! That's amazing! Okay, we're going to put this into the uh, brush. Got to look plenty of lather on there. And we're going to let that kind of... Eh, we're going to let that sit on the face there while we get this... Oh, we get this case of blades open. It's a brand new, brand new tuck of blades. Case, tuck, same thing. Here, you know what? Let me get a, get a blade here. Let me just, like that. So it'll, there we go. All right. Hang on, let me toss that aside. Somebody said that uh, it's a good thing to have the lather kind of sit on your face and set up for a minute or two. And uh, that's what we're doing here by loading the blade. Let all those moisturizers kind of go to work. Okay, so there's the uh, blade. Kind of a different uh, setup for me. Uh, here we go. I've got a, uh, got a gasket right there, a little O-ring. 
Okay, that controls the twist adjustability of the the razor. There's my cap. There is the blade. Setting that there. Here is my base plate with my O-ring going right in place like that. Okay. Oh no, yeah, that's nice. Okay, now I'm snugging it up and I'm gonna go back about a uh, not quite a quarter of a turn. We're going to heat this up under some hot, 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 hot water. And we're going to get right to this shave. Love this scent. Feels great on the skin. Very lively. <laughs> Very lively from the menthol, the bay rum. Oh, that's fantastic. Oh, that's great. Okay, a little swirl. Here we go. 30 degrees, a light touch. Let the razor do all the work, gentlemen. Oh, that's marvelous. That is really smooth and efficient. That's beautiful, wonderful glide. That is fantastic. Oh boy, so nice and warm from the warmth of this razor. And the, and the warm lather. Beautiful. Just a beautiful, smooth shave. Really, this razor just knocks it out of the park. Now, a couple of things to note. Um, I've mentioned before, but if you, this is the first time you've seen this uh, channel and this razor, uh, the end tabs of the razor blade are enclosed in the razor head. And uh, the profile, this nice slim profile uh, and shape of the razor head makes it possible to get up underneath the nozzles fairly well. Uh, I'm going to have to probably clean up on the east to west pass, but a nice majority of all those little little whiskers underneath the nostrils are taken care of. Um, but uh, Razor does a really nice job. All right, that's the first pass done. Let's rinse. Just want to add a little water. That's terrific. That's, that's socially acceptable already. That's marvelous. We're going to go ahead and uh, lather up for a second pass. That is a nice warm lather. Wow, is that wonderful. Beautiful. Love this scent. Absolutely love this scent. You know, I think I mentioned in the Monday morning mailbag that I bought it in CK6 because I have Atomic Age Bay Rum in CK1. Because I was thinking about buying Space Dog in CK6 and I thought, no, you know, I'm going to get, I'm going to get, in, 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 in. I, was, I was thinking about buying uh, Space Nog in CK1. And I thought, no, I'll buy it in CK6 because I already have Atomic Age Bang Rum in CK1. So I decided to get this Space Nog in CK6. It's almost like having Atomic Age Bay Rum in CK6. There is that, that splash of Atomic Age uh, Bay Rum there that, you, that you, definitely comes through. But there is also the vanilla, the nutmeg, it really is a wonderful, wonderful scent. All right, so what we're going to do is we're going to snug it up, and I'm going to come back probably about an eighth of a turn, and I'm going to heat this up under some hot water again, get a nice, nice warm razor one more time, because that copper retains heat. Beautiful. We're going to go past number two, east to west, across the grain. Oh, that's nice. Absolutely loving this blade in this razor.
This, you know what? With the holiday parties coming up, this is the shave soap to use before you go out in the evening. <laughs> it's wonderful. I promise you, this is what I'm using. Okay. Again, we're going to go east to west underneath the, uh, the upper lip here, underneath the nostrils. Again, nice that the end tabs of the razor blade are enclosed. Terrific, terrific. Just so much glide and and slickness there for getting up underneath there in the in the in the in some of the tighter areas. The razor did a beautiful job. I love the 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 smooth, mild, yet very highly efficient quality of it. It's terrific. It's got great weight, retains that heat. But man, this went together so well with this shave soap. That's pass number two. It's usually my money pass. I can tell whether or not my shave is done after pass number two. Well, let's go ahead and rinse. Yeah, I'm done. This shave, this shave is done. This, is, <laughs> this has been a really wonderful shave. I do not need a third pass. Wow, uh, that's wonderful. If I had two days growth with this shave soap, this razor and this blade, probably a third pass, two passes and a touch-up. But my goodness, this has been spectacular. Let's do our uh, two final rinses. One warm, one cold. Here's my warm water rinse. I just need a couple of splashes because uh, I got a good deal of it here when I rinsed off after pass number two. Here's my warm water rinse. Okay, some slickness there. I did need that third splash. No doubt about it. Yeah, some slickness there. And probably a little slickness still left yet. We're going to get it with the cold water rinse. It'll close my pores and really clean things up nicely. I'm just waiting for everything to get really cold. That menthol from the cube is going to kick in. It's going to give me a great kick. That with the bay rum, the vanilla. Oh, man. <laughs> You've got to get this shave soap. This scent is marvelous. All right, there's cold. That's really cold now. Here's my cold water rinse. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's a nice kick. Wow. Clean, fresh towel waiting for me right here. I, I do tend to over lather and I, I get it in my ears. Are you the same way? Do you get that lather over there? Ah, that's okay. I just want to make sure I get it all. While I'm on camera here, I've mentioned it before. A couple of viewers said, hey, you didn't, you didn't towel off enough. I can still see shaving cream there around your ear and a little bit on your neck. I think I got it all though. Wow. And the scent is still there. It is still, I mean, I can, ah, oh, it is, it's marvelous. It really is. Wow. <laughs> this is really, this is a marvelous, marvelous uh, scent. And CK6 is terrific. And what a shave. You know what? I'm, I'm on my way to BBS after two passes. Again, you know, one day's worth of growth. But uh, absolutely fantastic. Here is my um, Allen block from Phoenix Shaving with the no slip grip, dry dock system. We're going to run this under some cold water, see what kind of feedback we get, zinging, stinging, that sort of thing. All right, here we go. No zinging. No stinging, 
smooth as ice, some nice bracing. Oh yeah, that's marvelous. Terrific, really terrific. Okay, there's my dry dock. There is the uh, Allen block on the dry dock system. We'll set it there and we'll let that uh, do its thing. Wow, this, is, this has been fantastic. Let's go ahead and get some of this uh, Space Nog aftershave and cologne right here and opening it up for the first time here. There we go, I'm peeling that off. There we go. And of course, it, uh, it's the newer bottle with the, I point this out with the plastic restrictor. All right, so it is, it gives you a little more control when you're dispensing it. Just shake it like this. Can you see that? I'm shaking it like this. I'm gonna do it down here because it's a little easier to shake it down here so it's not falling out of my hand. Doing it on camera is a little, sometimes, sometimes a little awkward. Okay, there we go. That's got it. Boy. That's that's wonderful. And it's got a nice kick to it too. That really does. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. You're gonna like this. Oh man, that's got a nice kick to it. There's the star jelly for upstairs. I had a head shave the other day. Okay, about that much is all I need. This quickly absorbs into the skin. Boy, that was a great shave. That was absolutely marvelous. Fantastic, really, just, again, uh, I'm getting this really great kick from the aftershave and cologne. It's very lively, the scent is wonderful. It's got that Atomic Age Bay rum uh, splash in there, but the vanilla, the nutmeg, the brown sugar. Um, I think it's got tonka bean in there as well. It really is very seasonal, but something I feel I can use year round. And I think it's because of the, 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 the bay rum, the Atomic Age bay rum that's in there. Really kind of, that element allows it to be a year-round kind of a shave. So, which is why I think it's just uh, a terrific buy right now. It is a seasonal release, so I don't know how long it's going to be around. But, you know, if, if, if you're looking for something for the Christmas season, check out Space Dog. Here is the, uh, the lather right here, CK6. Look at that. I mean, that is... That is marvelous. Get a little more here. Look at that. 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 It just, ah, it's just marvelous. Just wonderful. Just rich and creamy. Beautiful glide. Beautiful slickness. Uh, I really, really like CK6. Well, you know that if you follow me on the channel. I, I, I'm, I'm biased towards it. I really am. I, I do like it. But I think this scent is just perfect for uh, the Christmas holiday season. Now, last year, they released Cosmic Christmas Cookies, and I liked that a lot. I thought that was a great uh, seasonal release, and I was looking forward to seeing that one. But I tried this one, and this, I think, tops the Cosmic Christmas Cookies. This has more depth, more richness, more character to it. It really does have... Uh, many, many more lay, uh, levels of, of, of the scent. Uh, it just really has, as I say, more depth, more character to it. Uh, Multi-level. It just multi-level in the scent. It's just terrific. I really do enjoy it. And again, it's something that I feel I can use year-round. So Space Nog from Phoenix Shaving. Uh, really, give it a try. I don't think you'll be disappointed. Uh, I have it in CK6. I believe it's also available in CK1. All right. Thanks very much for tuning in again. I really do appreciate it. Please share. Please subscribe. Please like. Hit that bell so it'll give you a yell the next time I upload a video. Comment below or let me know. Check out the Executive Shaving Company. Use the code MARK5. Check out my blog, georgeteam.com slash blog for my comic strip George, other cartoons, other videos like this. I'm on Facebook. Check out my Facebook page. Check out Phoenix Artisan Accoutrements for some great, great shaving gear. Space Nog. 
Check out lightningsblade.com for some great shaving gear. Check out my Amazon product page at amazon.com slash shop slash Mark Zerady, where you'll find all the products I review on this channel, organized and categorized so you can find everything in a snap very easily. Thanks very much for tuning in again. I really do appreciate it. I'll see you again real soon.